When it comes to helping our hungriest families, no legislation is more important than the Farm Bill. It provides nearly a half trillion dollars in funding for programs like SNAP, commonly known as food stamps, and help for rural farmers, including those here in Colorado. And the current Farm Bill expires in September. And with that much money on the line, you know there are plenty of people with plenty of opinions on how best to spend it. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn spoke to all the major players and brings us a 360 view on the Farm Bill. Despite its name, the Farm Bill goes far beyond farming. The title even just talking just about farms can be a little bit misleading. As former President Obama once said, it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of legislation. Here's an overview. There are currently two versions of the 2018 Farm Bill. The Senate version is widely praised and pretty much the same as it's been in years past, with one whopper of an exception, the legalization of hemp. Supporters of hemp say the new cash crop would be a godsend for struggling farmers. It's time to, to get out of that rut that we've been in and, and open up our eyes to other opportunities. The possibilities are endless from rope to clothing to food. But on the other side, some like Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa argue hemp is still a controlled substance. Today's bill would allow any snake oil salesman to market and sell any CBD product as a dietary supplement. Hemp experts disagree. There's virtually no THC. You can't get high. You can't get euphoric from it. On the flip side of the Senate is the House version of the Farm Bill. It is drawing harsh criticism because it would impose new work restrictions to qualify for food stamps. You need to document on a monthly basis that you are working 20 hours a week. Food stamp applicants already have to prove income and show pay stubs. I believe that we already make it restrictive enough. Here's a reality check. While the bill does include funding for farming, the lion's share of the farm bill goes to food stamps. 70 to 80 percent of the 860 billion dollars is earmarked for food stamps or what is now called SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. And there's a new double up food bucks program which doubles a family's food stamps when they buy fruits and vegetables. It basically doubles their purchasing power. It helps families to eat healthier. It provides additional income for farmers. Right now, an estimated 500,000 Coloradans use food stamps. Some consider the program a controversial handout. But Susan Grutzmacher, head of Boulder County SNAP, says food stamps are critical. It's really intended for people when kind of times are tough. And there are still more views on the farm bill. The House version could put caps on crop insurance, the amount of money farmers receive if their crops are damaged or wiped out. Nick Lewandowski with the Rocky Mountain Farmers Union believes that would greatly impact the ability of some families to keep farming. Which is the, the number one safety net for farmers right now. We're seeing horrible droughts. And in Colorado, just this past week, brutally damaging hailstorms. So what's next? The Senate will now work on its final version and then try to reach some sort of compromise with the House. They need to act fast. The current version of the Farm Bill expires in September. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.